morning today's unit is the periodic classification of elements we know there is an order in our life isn't it in our attendance register your names are recording in alphabetic order if you consider a vegetable shop the vegetables are arranging in special oh, separate racks like that only in our school library different books are there for kg for other classes and also story books are there different books are arranging in different manner that is they separately we are arranging for each like that only a lot of elements have been discovered for this there is a need of arrangement of these elements for that we already learned in our 9th standard early attempt of arrangement of elements for that we studied dobernis law of triads newlands law of octaves and mendelief law of periodic law this last we already learned so after this some derivatives are there in our mendelief periodic law what mendelief periodic law mean the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic masses in this way mendelief arranges the elements but the argon and potassium cannot arrange in a sufficient manner there is a difference in atomic masses in the arrangement of argon and potassium so after this mostly discovered a new property of elements that is known as atomic number based on this atomic number mostly found out a new law that is known as the modern periodic law the modern periodic law states that the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic numbers that means the properties of elements are depend on their atomic number atomic number means the number of protons or number of electrons present in an atom henry mostly introduced modern periodic law modern periodic law states that the physical and chemical properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic numbers that is the physical properties and the chemical properties of elements are depending on their atomic numbers based on this modern periodic law they arrange the elements according to their atomic number in a long form that is known as the modern periodic table what is modern periodic table means the table are arrangement of elements in rows and columns highlighting the regular repetition of properties of elements there is a repetition of or repeating of the properties of elements similar elements are grouped together in mendelief sorry in modern periodic table so what is modern periodic table means it is a long form of periodic table there the atoms or they are the elements are arranging in an order of increasing atomic number here from here to left to right elements atomic number is one unit is increasing from here to there so the rows are called periods we can see periods here there are seven periods in a modern periodic table how many periods are there in our modern periodic table there are seven periods in our modern periodic table what are periods the horizontal rows are known as periods there are seven periods in our periodic table let's see the first period the atomic number 1 and 2 for periods means horizontal rows the first period contains two elements they are hydrogen and helium these two elements are present in the first period so it is a shortest period so why this one is a shortest period because only two elements only present in the first period so it is a shortest period what are the elements present in the first period hydrogen and helium next the second period atomic number 3 to 
that is lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon totally eight elements are present in our second period this one also a short period because only eight elements only present in second period so it is also a short period next let's consider see the third period atomic number 11 to 18 11 atomic number 11 is sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine and argon eight elements are present in this period also so this one is also a short period but first let's see the first period first period is known as the shortest period because only two elements only present in the first period second period contains eight elements so it is a short period third period also contains eight elements so this one also a short period let's see the fourth period atomic number 19 to 36 let's see the figure atomic number 19 to 36 the elements from potassium to krypton here 18 elements are present. This one is a long period. Why long period? Because this group that is fourth, sorry group, not group. This fourth period contains 18 elements. That elements from potassium to krypton. So these elements are including in a long period. Next, fifth period. Atomy number 37 to 54. Here also 18 elements are present from rubidium to xenon. Here 10 transition elements and 5 normal elements. That one group discussion time we can study about that name of that elements. Next one, seventh period. Seventh period contains 32 elements. This one is the longest period because this period contains 32 elements. Here atomic number 87 to 118 elements. Our modern periodic table contains totally 118 elements. These elements are authenticated by our IUPAC. IUPAC authentication dot means that one, that one is considered as an element. If the if one element considering one element means the qualities of an element should process means only can consider as an element. So here four elements are now included by IUPAC. This one is our long form of periodic table. We, we see the properties of our periods. First period contains two elements, hydrogen and helium. Second period contains lithium to neon, 8 elements. Third period contains sodium to argon, 8 elements. Next period, fourth period contains 18 elements, potassium to krypton. Next period contains rubidium to xenon. Next 55 rom, atomy number 55 to 86 up to are present that is cesium to red and here in this group here lanthanum followed by 18 elements are included at the bottom of the periodic table it is difficult to include these elements are present here but they are placing at the bottom of the periodic table for easy convenience next in the last period there is actinum Atomy number 89, actinum following by elements are known as actinates. These actinates are placing the bottom of the periodic table. These are about the features of periods. Let's see the features of groups. What are groups? The vertical columns are known as groups in a periodic table. Now we can see the picture of a periodic table. They are, the vertical columns are known as groups. So what are periods? The horizontal rows are known as periods. The vertical columns are known as groups. Here, there are 18 groups in our modern periodic table. First group elements are known as alkali metals. Why they are known as alkali metals? They form alkalis. They, the sodium, potassium, etc. 
form alkalis with the day if we expose with the water there is an explosion taking place so they similar they are processing similar properties alkali metals second group elements are known as alkaline earth metals third group elements are known as transition metals they are placing at the middle of the periodic table next boron family that is the group 13 group elements boron following elements are known as boron family next family is known as carbon family that is carbon 14th element is carbon carbon following elements present in that group are known as carbon family group 15 the first member is nitrogen nitrogen following elements are known as nitrogen family next 16th atomic number 16 is oxygen oxygen following by elements in that group are known as oxygen family otherwise known as chalcogen family chalcogen means they form ores ore forming elements are present in that group so they are known as chalcogen family next 17th group elements are known as halogens chlorine fluorine bromine iodine and astatin that are halogens they are present in the 17th group next last group elements uh, that is 18th group this group is otherwise known as zero group they are known as noble gases noble means we know there is no reaction they are inert gases other name for noble gases is inert gases why they are inert means they does not react with any other metals we already learned if one atom reacts with or element reacts with other metals means the outer shell is incomplete means only they react with other elements but here all the outer shell is completed like that only in the periodic table they are arranging the elements from here left to right we are seeing the atomic number is increasing by one that time the last group containing elements are completely filled elements they are known as noble gases or inert gases or zero group elements they are inert in nature they does not react with any other elements or metals lanthanides and actinides are called inner transition elements they are present at the bottom of our periodic table why they are called inner transition elements means group 3 Two, we call them if they are present at the middle of the periodic table. There we say that elements we say what is in a transition metals. Inside that transition metals, these lanthanides and actinides are including. They are known as inner transition elements. Same valency. <coughs> For in a, if we see the group. For from first to last member, they possess same valency. What is valency? The last shell containing electrons are known as valency. The valency only responsible for the reaction of that element. Similar chemical properties. All the members in a group possess similar chemical properties because their valencies are same. So they possess similar chemical properties. And melting point, boiling point and density vary gradually. The melting point, boiling point and density, we say the physical properties of elements, they, they gradually vary from top to bottom. Same stable electronic valence shell signed are unreactive. The last is the group containing, there is no valence shell electrons so they are unreactive like that only same stable electronic valence shell present means they are unreactive elements let's see the periodic table this one is known as the long form of periodic table that is the modern periodic table here hydrogen and helium are the first period containing elements here Periods means first period, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Totally seven periods are present in our modern periodic table. How many periods are present? There are seven periods present in our modern periodic table. The first period contains two elements, hydrogen and helium. Second period contains eight 
elements that is from lithium to neon the elements are lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon they are present in the second period third period that is from sodium to argon sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine argon here first period is known as the shortest period because it contains only two elements so this one is known as the shortest period second and third periods are known as short periods because here first period contains two second period contains eight third period contains eight elements these are the short periods the first is the shortest period the second period and the third period are the short short periods next one third period third period from potassium atomic number 9 into krypton that is 36 atomic number here the elements are 18 elements this one is the long period because 18 elements are included in this period so it is long period next period is rubidium to xenon that here also 18 elements are present so first period contains two elements second period contains eight elements third period also contains eight elements fourth period contains 18 elements fifth period also contains 18 elements next one sixth period that is cesium atomic number 55 to red on atomic number 86 here totally 32 elements are present here one blank space is here that is for lanthanum lanthanum places here only lanthanum following by elements are present there so lanthanum following elements are known as lanthanides these lanthanides are otherwise known as inner transition elements this group is known as the longest period because 32 elements are present which group is known as sorry which period is known as the longest period sixth period is known as the longest period first period is known as the shortest period next last period that is seventh period that is atomic number 87 to 118 here also 32 elements are present here the place for actinium atomic number 89 actinium following by elements are known as actinides lanthanides and actinides together called as inner transition elements here let's see the first groups what are groups the whole vertical columns are known as groups here one group second group third group fourth group fifth group then like totally 18 groups are there so what are groups vertical columns are known as groups in first group hydrogen to francium is there first group elements are otherwise known as alkali metals this one is the second group second group elements are known as alkaline earth metals next group 3 to that this one third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh twelfth up to twelfth that is 3 to 12 are known as transition elements first group elements are known as alkali metals second group elements are known as alkaline earth metals group 32 group 32 12th are known as transition elements next group 13th one that is boron family 13th group contains first member is boron so 13th group elements are known as boron family next 14th group are known as carbon family next 15th group is known as nitrogen family next 16th group elements are known as 
ऑक्सीजन फैमिली अदरवेज चालकोजेंस नेक्स्ट सेवेंटीन डी ग्रुप आर नॉन एस हैलोजेंस हैलोजेंस कॉमनली वी स्टडी हैलोजेंस फ्लोरिन क्लोरिन ब्रोमिन आयोडिन एंड एस्टेटिन दिस आर नॉन एस हैलोजेंस नेक्स्ट लास्ट ग्रुप दैट इज एटीन डी ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स आर नॉन एस इनर्ट गैसेस Why they are known as inert gases or noble gases means they does not react with any other elements because their valence shell is completely filled, so there is no reaction with other elements. So they are known as zero group elements, otherwise eighteen group elements or noble gases or inert gases. Let's see the properties of Groups in a group they possess same chemical property. The valence shell electrons are same, so a group members possess same <coughs> properties. In the case of physical properties, there is a variation in atomic number. The number is increasing, so there is a variation in their physical properties like melting point, boiling point, density, etc. Their uh, physical properties gradually increasing. Last group here less from left to right we seeing dim. Here the atomic number is increasing one by one. The last shell coming dim. Completely shelled orbits are present. For example, helium atom, helium nucleus. Here two electrons are present. Two means they are completely filled. In the case of neon. The atomic number is ten, so two H. First shell contains two electrons. Next shell contains eight electrons. So they are completely filled. Same in the case of argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. When they are completely filled orbits, so they are known as inert gases or noble gases. What are inert gases? Inert gases means the outer shell orbit is completely filled. They are known as inert gases. Here the inert gases are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. Halogens, seventeenth group elements are otherwise known as halogens. They are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and astatin. Okay, let's close our chapter today. See the next class. Okay, students. Thank you.